I'm very glad that they put uh, Queen Amidala out for Star Wars Shatterpoint. But the real question is, is when do we get Captain Panaka? Isn't that what everybody wants in this game? Panaka? I know it's what I want. So then every time I do something cool, I can say something like, you guess you can kiss your trade franchise goodbye. He was a cool character. <laughs> His hat was awesome. <laughs>to another episode of Blasticated Painting. Today we're going to be painting Queen Amidala and her uh, body double Sabe? 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 No, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to say Sabe. And I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'm wrong. <laughs> Either way, we're painting these for Star Wars Shatterpoint by Atomic Mass Games. Let's do it. Now for these guys, I am going to use the airbrush to make things go faster, but you could just do this with a dry brush. You don't need to use the airbrush. It's just going to make it quicker for me. We will give the miniatures a spray of white and we will move on to Hastur Purple. So this is going to go in our airbrush and this is going to be our base color basically. This is going over the entire miniature. Um, you will notice that I put some silly putty on the queen's face because I didn't want to uh, repaint it white after. But we just want to get a good even coat of this on both the queen and uh, the handmaiden she has with her. Don't ask me why I didn't put Silly Putty on Sabe's face. I, I can't answer it. I just didn't. Whatever. So we're going to take some Amaranth Red and we're going to do a sort of Zenithal with that color on both of them. This is the part that you could easily just use a dry brush instead. This just makes it a little bit quicker for me. Now we're going to take some Pale Flesh here and this is going to go all over their hands. And we do want to make sure as we're going through these colors that we're not getting anything on the red. Um, we are going to do a little bit more work on the red after, but we really don't want to go back and have to fix anything. And we're going to take some Beastie Brown and this is going to go all over her hair. So she's got that huge uh, bun of hair and uh, the ponytail at the back. I'm assuming the bun of hair is fake. Can anyone confirm that that's a fake bun? Because I'm sure she doesn't have that much hair. I don't know anything about uh, regal hair things. This is also going all over Sabe's hair. Next, we're going to jump to some Parasite Brown. And on the queen here, this is going all over the fur trim that she has. So uh, along the bottom of her dress and her sleeves as well. Next, we're taking some charred brown. We are going to dry brush this very gently on Sabe's uh, coat because it's supposed to be a darker color on top and red in the little sort of design. So we're gonna do this a bunch of times lightly and just go through till we get the right coverage we want. Just make sure to take your time with this step. Don't overdo it. Uh, it's always better to underdo it in this sense and put more paint on. This charred brown is also going all over the uh, trim area of the queen's uh, shoulder uh, garment and also her uh, chest design here. Next we're going to take some dwarven gold and this is going all over any of the areas that need to be gold obviously. So check your reference material, check the box art, find out what spots exactly are supposed to be gold. These are pretty intricate uh, costumes that they designed for the movie and obviously likewise for the miniature so just go through and find out where it's all supposed to be and we want to make sure we get a good coverage of this gold um, it's kind of one of the biggest features of the actual costumes she's also got a bunch of hair ties back here in her hair i'm going to do the gold on those as well now we're going to take some silver here and this is going to go all over the uh, pistols that they have. Next we're going to take some Soul Blight Grey. This is a new uh, shade color to me. I, I haven't had it for very long and this is going to go all over their face. But I really, uh, really like it as a wash. It's really nice.
and we're gonna take some flesh wash and this is gonna go on their hands now I didn't film that with the Queen or Sabe but if you want to go back and check out my handmade video you can I'm gonna take some red tone here and this is gonna go all over the uh, gold that we put down so we're gonna just kind of shade that gold in a sort of red regally sort of way it just gives it a different look this is also going to go all over the red that we did on her dress. So um, just go through and try not to let it pool or stain too much. Move it around. Get it into the areas you want it. And we're going to take some deep red here and we're going to do the designs on their faces. So again, check your reference photos. Uh, this was a little finicky on her lips, but just be patient and take your time. I'm going to hop back to that charred brown because I still have it on my palette. You can use any dark color here and we're just going to put in these eyebrows. Now we're going to take our amaranth red and any spots that we kind of want to fix up from that staining of the wash, we're just going to do a slight dry brush on that area. So just go through and just be fairly careful to not get this on any of the other colors you finished. Now we're going to take some Agrath's Earth Shade and this is going to go all over the hair on both miniatures and also the uh, fur trim that she has on her dress. Now we need to do these uh, weird little things that she has on her dress, which I believe in the movie kind of glowed. So, or they're like, look like jewels. I don't know. I'm not the costume designer, but anyway, we're going to do those now. And we're going to start with orange fire here. So this is going to go all over the parts of the orb up at the top. So there's a clear separation to the bottom part. So we just want to get that on there and get a good coverage of it. I also didn't take this orange all the way up to the dress. I left a little bit of red on there. Now we're going to take some dark gray blue, and this is going to go on the bottom part of those uh, jewels, gems. Again, I don't know what they are, but it's going on the bottom. We're also going to use this on Sabe's uh, belt and her boots as well. Now we're gonna take some volcanic yellow here and I'm going to put this in a line at the bottom of the orange where it meets the black, uh, the, sorry, the dark gray blue. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm gonna feather that so it kind of blends it a little bit into the orange. Then we're gonna take some dead white here. We're gonna just put in a little tiny spot up at the top to give it a little bit of a reflection and those uh, jewel slash gem things are done. And actually they look pretty good. Now we're gonna take some stone wall gray and we're just gonna do a bit of an edge highlight on Sabe's belt. So just the very edge of that, we just wanna get a little bit of that on there and it's okay if it's a little scratchy. Now we're going to grab some of that beastie brown again and we're just going to do a quick little highlight up on her hair and Sabe's hair, both of their hairs. We're going to take some runic gray and this is going to go on the blaster that she has and these are done. And here they are all finished up and honestly, turned out pretty good. I also dotted in her eyes. Um, I didn't film that because it was hard and I didn't want to. So, um, but they turned out really good. The gems actually look really nice. And then uh, Sabe here is pretty simple. Um, just red and black and white, some gold, but both of them turned out great. I had a lot of fun painting these miniatures. I kind of went a little bit more free form and figured it out as I was going instead of necessarily having a plan. Um, I'm, I'm happy with how they turned out with how little work we had to do. 
Um, you could go in and do a lot of extra work on these if you really wanted to, but I mean, for tabletop, these look really nice. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. This is also going over all over sub. Wow, going on all over all over. My God. Now we need.